Next on Comcast Newsmakers, Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center is known for his research on cancers, but it's also working on a vaccine for HIV. Details coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are in Seattle, the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. And joining me right now is Dr. Julie McElrath, who is Senior Vice President, Director of Vaccine and Infectious Diseases Division at the Hutch. Hi. Julie, thanks so much for joining us. It's thank a pleasure you. to meet you and thank you for having us here today. Thank you. Many people, when they think about the Hutch, they think about cancer and they think about research and they don't think about infectious diseases. So how did the Hutch come to um, work on infectious diseases like HIV, malaria, influenza. Right, right. So um, cancer diseases and infectious diseases are very well linked. Um, uh, about a third of uh, cancers are caused by infectious diseases. And uh, individuals who have cancer are um, immunocompromised in some ways or the treatments they receive uh, really make them more immunocompromised, so they're more susceptible mm. to in infectious diseases. And so the ability to be able to recognize these early, um, to treat them well, or even to prevent them, you know, can have a major uh, uh, relationship to how well cancer patients will do. And so they're always linked. Um, and it's our role here to try to do our best to either eliminate those infections um, if they have, have them or to prevent them. I mentioned a potential vaccine for HIV. How, how might this become a reality? I mean, anytime soon? Oh, we're always asked how soon, and um, we want it to be now. Sure. Um, but, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that um, it's an iterative process. Um, so you have a good idea, um, you get it into people as quickly as you can, um, you find out if it works, and if, you, if it doesn't work, you find out as much about it as you can about how it could work, and come up with a new brand and then test it again. And so it's an iterative process, you go back and forth. So where are we? Right now we have some really good leads, um, those are now moving into the clinics and it'll take about five years to find those out. And then in the meantime, we have a lot of new discovery going on. Some really good new ideas from basic research and new technologies that we think will then drive the way um, as we're waiting for these to, to come out over the next five years. Are you talking about another HIV research project or just other, other studies that link with an HIV yeah, vaccine? Yeah, so there are a lot of clinical trials that are going on now, and some, some are with one type of design for an HIV vaccine, and, and then there are others that are testing different ones. So we have a lot of things in play right now. And, but they're at different levels. Some are at the really first in human stages, and some of them moving up to be tested in larger numbers and to actually determine whether or not they'll work. Okay, so the ones I'm talking about are the ones that are at uh, the more advanced levels to determine whether they'll work or not. And then others are really back in the test tube, back in the lab, um, generating new ideas from new technologies that we hope to push into human trials as quickly as possible. So it's just this, it's this, this process that goes from, from A to Z, and then we hope at some of those points in the way we'll have the one that will really work. Doctor, we're almost out of time. Any final thoughts? You know, we all want very hard to get an HIV vaccine as quickly as possible. There's such an urgent need. Um, so we're doing our best community-wide, worldwide uh, to get there. Dr. Julie McElbrath, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Mm -hmm.